it's funny how we are speaking english i'm speaking english they are speaking english but we cannot understand ourselves hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rita and this is tea spill with rita where i talk about health lifestyle and christianity if you are new here smash that subscribe button and join this wonderful family and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in once again in today's video i'm going to be talking about culture shock things that i've experienced here and i'm like what they are totally different from what you know i am used to like from back in nigeria so i'll be sharing those things with you guys today and i hope you guys will enjoy it i started saying some in my previous video but i wanted to make an entirely different video and say everything because it's a lot it's a lot and i may not still be able to cover up everything in this video so without wasting much time let's just get right into the video okay so when i first came here the first thing i noticed was the roads the positioning of the car seats and the way they drive and all that so here their driver seat is on their right in nigeria our driver seat is on our left here they drive on the left side of the road and then they drive on the right side of the road so the roads are different and all that that was the first thing i noticed that was like a shock at me like what then another thing i noticed is that their cars <laughs> their cars are so freaking small you guys most of them have just front door they don't have the back door but they have back seats but they don't have the back door you know those kind of cars the cars are so small that i feel like i can use my leg and match it and it's just you know be destroyed or something that is how small their cars are and it feels like almost everybody has cars here yeah, i don't think it's actually that expensive from what i've heard as compared to nigeria where we have big cars big trucks big they have buses here though we have trucks here but they are like day-to-day -day cars like the normal cars are really really small then another thing i noticed is the bus they use trains and buses here and their buses they have these different layers like they have like an upstairs in the bus so when you get in there's the ground floor <laughs> and there's the first floor and it's done this way to accommodate um, a lot of people like it was my first time seeing this kind of buses because we don't have this kind of things in nigeria so buses are their yeah, like normal means of transport if you want to get a cab you book a cab either you use the uber or whichever whichever apps apps they have and trust me it's expensive you know how in nigeria when you come out from the road like you come out from your house and you just you can't do that here you can't just put your hand out and stop a taxi or put your hand out and stop a bus every bus has a bus station they don't stop anywhere except their bus station they have timing so if you want to catch that bus you have to be at the bus station by that time and if you miss it you have to wait for the next bus which will probably be like the next 15 20 minutes and if you're rushing somewhere my dear you're gonna be late then one last thing i want to say about their transportation system is that you have to say thank you to the bus driver if you are leaving the bus and you don't say thank you they will look at you as a not like they'll come and fight you and say hey, you do not tell me thank you but they'll look at you as a rude person they, they see that as being very rude and yeah so you have to tell them thank you when you leave the bus and if you want to say anything and maybe someone asking you something and then you say yes they also see it as rude what you're supposed to say is yes please it's funny how they find that being disrespectful but they don't find not saying good morning disrespectful they don't find calling someone by their name no matter irrespective of the age they don't find it disrespectful but they find not saying thank you disrespectful isn't that just wild so let me go to that now the next point they call themselves by their name so there's nothing like ma or sa even if you are the boss of one organization your your employees will call you by your name because if you call them what they did not tell you to call them it's going to be a problem even if the person is very old like elderly call them by their names which from where i'm coming from it's quite disrespectful just imagine me calling someone that is my father's agent by his name and that thing again is that they like using these words darling sweetheart honey yes darling yes sweetheart like it's a normal thing here like if you go to the store to buy something oh here you go darling they say it like all the time whereas in nigeria we call somebody darling they'll take an offense of like thinking you're hitting on them but some people like i said 
still take offense by that not calling them by the name and the next i'm going to be talking about is the language language barrier is actually a major thing for most of the international people that come like people from different different countries coming here it's funny how we are speaking english i'm speaking english they are speaking english but we cannot understand ourselves let me give an example there was this time i went to the supermarket to buy something i was looking for waist trainer so i couldn't find it in the supermarket i went to one of the staff members that you know people that are working there and asked please um do you guys have a waist trainer and she was like what and i'm like waist trainer she's like oh as far as i know i don't think we have that here i just had this strong feeling that she did not understand what i said so that was just it so i went home and made me up by my waist trainer <laughs> within the british people they have different like um accents some talk very fast that you can't even hear a single thing they're saying some tech talk very slow so you can understand pick up some things some have some very weird accents some are clear some are not clear so you meet different kinds of british people and so you just have to be very attentive to hear what they're saying and they also struggle to hear what we are saying which is i feel it is quite clear for anybody to understand and they have like some weird slangs they have to have some weird slangs like now you want to go to the toilet something something has to do with loo i need to go to the loo or something like that loo means to use the toilet then also they say chairs it's a way of saying thank you like when you come down from the bus you say chairs or when you buy something and you say chairs and say thank you then you guys let me shock you with this one grocery shopping when you go to the store to go and buy something you have to carry your own nylon bag they will not give you bag my dear which is shocking the first time i went to the supermarket to go and buy something thank god i went to one of my friends she was telling me ah when i was already there anyway she was like did you carry bag i was like bag who they give you bag and she's like no you have to carry your own bag oh, because they will not give you nylon like no when we buy things in nigeria they'll put inside black nylon for you and you go your way here you have to buy bag to put things that you bought from them which is crazy it's crazy crazy <laughs> so thank god that day i was actually holding like my handbag i just should put whatever it was i bought inside there but the other times i actually went to the market and i forgot to carry bag and i had to buy their bags that's just the difference between here and nigeria nigeria they'll give you bag when you buy your things but here you have to bring your bag so people when they come to shop they bring their nylon bags so we won't have this kind of stroller shopping bags where they just put i think they're buying a lot of things they put it there so that's how it is here and then they are very lovey-dovey you'll be seeing a uh, couples holding hands shopping walking together this one that one and i'm like this is so cute especially the old people there was this time i was in the bus and this old couple they were inside and when they dropped down when they came up on the bus the man put his hand while the woman like put her hand into his hand i was holding him and they were walking and going home and i'm like god <laughs> when it's so cute like i was so teary <laughs> like it's so nice that they're still lovely doing at their old age like wow that was so cute and that's not the first time i've seen like old people like holding hands and walking going home or doing whatever like it's so cute so nice so here they're very expressive they're very lovely doing people now let's talk about the weather the weather here is crazy it's hot it's cold it's everything in between when it's hot it's really hot like especially when you're inside the house and it's like the house is made in a way that it attracts heat so it feels like you're in an oven you're burning in your own room like that's crazy and then when it's cold it's cold when i first came i'm always wearing so many clothing on top of myself because of cold and all that until i noticed that the people that are even here like all these british people they don't actually cover themselves up like that thing obviously young young girls we wearing shorts many skirts their legs are exposed and i'm like is this cold not affecting you <laughs> instead of wearing normal tops they don't even cover up that much i'll be asking myself am i sure no but dressed for this occasion <laughs> so i think they are used to the weather here that even if it's very cold like they still they don't it doesn't affect them but anyway that's because it's not winter yet and then another crazy thing i noticed here like you guys is crazy they smoke like tomorrow like there's no tomorrow you turn to your left somebody's smoking you turn to your right somebody's smoking you turn to your front somebody's smoking they smoke anyhow here you guys i think it's legal here that's why you see young old middle age everybody's just smoking 
and they'll just like on the road they don't even care as they're walking they're smoking just polluting the air and i'm like can you just do it on your own go to a corner and do it on your own don't carry everybody along with you make like people to be inhaling nonsense you can't see that in nigeria someone smoking every day it's a normal to inhale and advice in this UK like this try as much as possible to mind your business don't go and caution somebody or talk to somebody about something that does not concern you just mind your business and be going that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it just let me know whatever you think about this video in the comment section also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this and i'll keep on doing my best to deliver so that's it for today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye